Your new home. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is my front door, you guys. <laughs> Let me show you what's outside. <laughs> this wouldn't be my life or my house if my chickens weren't outside of my front door in my patio. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So you guys, today is the day. It is the morning of us selling and buying our new home. So I have to leave in about 30 minutes, but for right now, today is the big day to move all of our pets. And I'm not sure if you guys hear, but my kitties are so sad. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Turn on that post notification and let's get into moving all my pets to our new house. So, we actually had to catch the cats Saturday and Sunday because um, they don't often come around every day, but they are so sad. They do not want to be in their cages. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I want to take you guys with me. Dummy. Dummy. Hi, crazy kitties. It's okay, babies. So we've got Dummy here with crazy and... Peach and Mishka, and they are so not happy, and I understand why they're not happy, but when they get to the new house, they'll understand. It's okay, babies. They're very stressed right now. What are you guys doing? We've got our chicken cages ready. So we've got three cages. I think I'm gonna put all my bantams, like the mini chickens in this little cage. We'll have to put about like eight chickens in this one, and then like three to four in each of these. And then you should be good. I'm so sorry, baby kitties. Soon, soon, little babies. And we just did our last feeding here at this farm. It's so bittersweet. It's the last time, you guys. You have no clue. Little baby Joe. Hey, you're not going to eat here anymore. No, no, Triggies. Guys, my filming setup right here is where I usually film. And it's gonna be no longer. Oh man. But we're gonna have another really cool spot to film at the new house. But it's gonna be different for a little bit. All right, you guys, so we are back at the old house. And it is officially sold, as you guys know from my previous video. But we are getting the animals now so all of the trailers are pretty much gone we just have to get the kitties and the horses and the cows and everything so here's the only stack of like lead ropes and such that I left at this house <sighs> to get the horses and such so we've got one lead rope and halter two lead ropes and halter another lead rope oh that's a halter but that's a lead rope so we have three Lead ropes and halters, which is good for the horses. I have two cow halters. Um, and I don't know, I gotta put one on Moosey. I gotta find the bigger one. And then this is a cow um, lead rope halter combined. The only thing is Al is not very happy to be contained. So I don't know what we're gonna do just right yet. We will see. So this actually says calf, so that's probably not gonna work. Oh no. Uh, that one actually may work for Jolene, and this will work for Moosey, so we're gonna go try that out. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab their bowls, because earlier we took the feed, but now we have to grab the bowls and all the buckets. And they are running now, because I have the buckets, so they probably think they're getting fed. I gotta get this over the gate before Moosey comes. Hi, Bean! Hi, Bean. It's moving day, you guys. It's moving day. All right, Trigger, thank you for the bowl. We're gonna keep water until the very last minute, but these are good. What? I took your food bowl. Don't be sad. I have a halter here, and I'm not sure if I can do it with one hand. We're gonna try. Hey. You're a big boy. I don't know if this is gonna work for you. Oh yeah, it's not. Your head has gotten so big. Honestly, you guys, I might just go get a, a horse halter. Hold on. Come here. Good boy. So we're using a cow or a horse rope halter on a cow. 
This works though. Beautiful. Fabulous. So hang on to that. You haven't worn a halter in a while. Cute. So Moosey's got a horse halter on. Who we get to lead. And the cute little Joe Bean has her little halter on that she doesn't really love right now. Now we just gotta put halters on the little horses to get them ready to go. And then we should be good. Okay, so we're actually gonna have the two cats in this cage. And then Crazy's gonna go in this cage with them. And then we're gonna take Domino out and he's gonna go inside the truck. And then we're gonna put Stuart in here. So that's happening now. All right, so we'll do this. But we should put the wood plank underneath it. Yeah. Cats are going in the horse trailer. Oh. Okay. Look at them. It's okay, babies. I know. Oh. We've got cats in. Blaze. Lulu. And Triggy. Stewie. You doing okay? Luckily, it's not too hot out today, but he's in the back. And we are en route now. Oh. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. Oh, I have like dirt all over my face. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. This is what it looks like so far. I need more AC pulling out of my old neighborhood. We are almost done. So right now we've got the horses in and we used our friend's trailer. Uh, my friend's actually helping us because Mike is at the new house and our horse trailer has been used as a storage trailer, as you guys have seen. So we've got the horses in now with, um. The cat's in a cage like I showed you. So the three cats are in a cage. Domino is in the truck because we thought that four cats would be too much. And then we gave up one of the crates so that we could um, take Stuart. So Stuart's in the back of my truck right now. I'm totally winded as you guys can tell. Um, and it's really not hot out, but it's just Kevin's so running around and lifting up a heavy big pig and he weighs so much. I'm not sure if the camera actually like got us like getting him onto the, to the truck, but my gosh, that was hard. Anyways, we are now just, it's, a, it's really just like a 15, 20 minute drive, so it's not that bad, but we're headed there now. And then the last animals to get are the dogs, Penelope, um, the chickens, and then the cows. So we've done pretty good thus far, but we are, I said earlier, we were like almost done, but like when you think about the count of animals, yeah, we're almost done, but we are nowhere near in like time, like done. So here we go to continue on and I need to get off this so that I can focus on driving and blast my AC. So I don't know if you guys can see but that little crate right there that's kind of moving a little bit. This is my view to see Stuart in the pen and he's like moving the cage around a bit. So I see the cage moving around so I just had to pull off the road and see what was going on. He seems fine. He's just like moving the cage around but I just want to be back at the house already because I don't know if he's having a great time back there. We made it! Piggy is here. Horses are down there. Your new home! They're coming in. Blaze is coming out to his new home. Good boy. Triggy, welcome home. Where are we gonna get your trough out? Yay! He's like grass, I don't care about anything. Your buddies are coming. Lulu's gonna run. All right, Lou. Yay! Go on, buddy. Check it 
I want them to roll. Oh my god, check it all out. Yep. Look at them go. Where are you two going? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta check the place out. Look at head honcho trigger, like, I'll take this side. I'm so happy for them. They're set to run again. Yep, there he goes. Get a I know. <laughs> Where are you going? Look how pretty he is. <laughs> Look at him go. Be easy. Be easy. Be easy, Trigger. They are loving this. They're meeting the mini on the other side. And they are definitely just sticking together. The herd. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm over here. They feel so good. I'm so happy for them. Wow. They're checking everything out. Piggy is going into his new home. <laughs> Stewie, my, so you broke my cage. Look, eat away. So this is Stewie's new home for now. This pen is like triple the size of his other pen. It's actually like a three stall barn, but we gave him two stalls. So if that kind of puts in respect how big it is. And this is his automatic water that he is trying to swim in. He will make it in there, you guys. I see it now. <laughs> Get in there. Let's see. He's thinking about it. Here he goes, the arms, the arms. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he was, he's def once that water rises more, he's definitely gonna be in there. So it's cow time. It's time to get the cows. We're putting the trailer up as close to this fence as possible. So Al will go right in there. All right, so we are that close so that the cows only have an option to go this way. Y'all ready? Come on, Bubba's. Come on. There's a good boy. All right, you guys, we are back and it's been forever and we finally have the cows. Ready? All right, all gates are closed. Whoa, jumpy owl. Hi, Moosey, look, where are you? Come here, buddy. No, come back. Come on, little bean. Yay! Hi, baby. Jojo. They are figuring it out. Look at these trees, you guys. It's okay. Come on, Moose. Sorry, guys. The lighting is so bad. But the cows are running. you can see that they're running oh my gosh this is amazing look at these trees you guys oh my gosh Lucy Lucy Bubba's sorry my camera's having such a hard time focusing to a new home all right guys I'm gonna let him chill out Oh, it was so hard to get them loaded and they are just not the happiest and I just want them to eat grass and kind of restart because <laughs> they're confused. There's a lot going on. The loading process was nothing short of traumatic for them and myself, to be honest. <laughs> I never want to have to go through today what we did with them because it was not fun. Hey girls! Doggy time. Miles, hi baby. All right, you guys, it is so late. It is past 10 o'clock. We've been working effortlessly. I'm sunburned, and it's just crazy. And I just need to show you guys what's happening because it's a lot. So, 
<laughs> this is my front door, you guys. <laughs> Let me show you what's outside. <laughs> this wouldn't be my life or my house if my chickens weren't outside of my front door in my patio. So that's where the chickens are gonna hang. They're sitting on all their cages roosting and this is what it's gonna be today. I'm gonna put their feeder and water out here in just a minute, but the coop doesn't arrive till tomorrow, so we're chilling out here and I needed to get them out of these cages. All right, so we got water. Things are going back to normal for a minute, you guys. This is so funny. They're all roosting on top of the cages. I left the cages open. See, like that one's in the cage. It'll come out if it wants to. Doesn't, it doesn't. And they're just kind of hanging out, figuring everything out. Watering hole. We're getting some feed in here now. This has been a crazy transition. Chicken feed is getting filled. All these chickens are ready to eat. Oh my gosh, there we go. Whoops. There we go, guys. Flock to it. <laughs> Literally half. Uh -huh. They were so hungry from today, and they weren't even in cages for too long, but I think just the stress. And look at this. This is really funny. I mean, it's just an interesting picture. <laughs> Everyone's joining around. Pick like a flower. Look at that. <laughs> All the chickens are the petals. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. The cats are out here still. Um, I don't have Domino in here because I didn't want to put four cats in this. And the way we had to transport, we had to obviously use one of the cages for Stuart. But now that Stuart is out of the cage, we're going to go ahead and set up the other cage here and then put the two cats together. So it'll just be two and two. So we have to do that now. We have chicks out here and their brooder. And this is super messy. This is in the back patio. Penelope's here. We've been ripping up flooring. So we have to take Penelope out in just a minute. And the dogs are in here with our ripped up floor. And then Domino's right in there in that bathroom. All right, you guys. So we're out at this little pole barn. Stuart seems to be loving the place. He got out earlier and actually was with the horses. I got a frantic call from a friend that he was with the horses, but they did great. I am so happy for him. He is such in his element, you guys. As you saw, he was just laying there. Usually he's in the pig wheel, like hiding away, but like this is how much he loves this. So he has a huge space. Hi, Moosey. And his water trough, you can see how milky brown it looks is because he has had way too much fun swimming in it today. I'm gonna pop up some pictures now to show you guys. So he's having a great time. So he's chilling. Look, now he has all these posts to scratch on. So I'm super happy about that. This is so cool for him and it's so much. He's already eaten down like all these were super long. He just has a couple left and he's been rooting. I'm super happy for how happy he is in here. Like this is so fun to him because he has his pig glue. Um, he has all that mud over there that or dirt that he can turn into mud and still come over here and it be dry. So he could technically make a mud pit, be dry over here, play with his ball, do whatever he wants <laughs> and then go for a swim and technically drink out of it. But we are gonna have to be cleaning that a lot more often. And then he can eat out of this bigger bowl now that he's bigger. Moosey right here, they're going to be in kind of the same pasture because for now he's here. And then um, we'll build something out here so he can graze on more grass. But this is how they're going to operate. And we have Moosey and Al doing their same thing. They're hanging out. They've been eating lots of grass. We left them a lot of hay out here. <gasps> Looks like Moose went into the woods because he has burrs all over him. Oh boy. See, that's one thing with our cows that we haven't yet had to do because we don't have like, at our old house, we didn't have like wooded stuff, but we will definitely have to be taking off burrs. And Jojo Bean, she's got this little stall. There's like just some buckets here that were left here. It's kind of makeshift. We, well, it's not makeshift. We just put these boards up here actually for Stuart. So it is a full stall. Water over there. That's um, an automatic water as well. She has her grain and she has covered in burrs as well. But she's actually crying because she, she was just moving a lot a minute ago because she wants out with the boys. I think she absolutely loves it because there's no intimidation of the cows or the horses being out. So it's just her. So she's hanging out. I don't know. We may keep her in the stall for tonight just because it's the first night and I don't want them to get out because they don't really know where to go. And I don't think these guys will go because they, <laughs> they love us. They know where food is. So I don't know. I think I am just going to let her chill out in here for the night and then tomorrow we start again. So she's just relaxing. She had some like loose stool, so I think she's just nervous. But guys, do you see how big she is? <laughs> she's so big. But yeah, I think she's just, you know, a lot of stress and such. So that was her first actual trailer ride because she's been such a baby. We've always put her in the car with us. 
So I think there was just a lot going on in that trailer because Moose was freaked out. And I'm sure, or excuse me, Al was freaked out and I'm sure Moose wasn't the easiest. But she seems just a little bit nervous today. She don't know where anything is. So All right, Nelly. So she has no clue what's happening. But I'm going to coax her. I can go out that way. Go on. Good girl. All right, so we are outside with Penelope. We're going to try to see if she'll pee really quick for us. We have her on a leash. She doesn't really like to go to the bathroom when she's on a leash. Just walk with me, baby. Here she goes. All right, we have a peeing pig. Yay! Okay, so that was a successful on-leash pee and poop. We have not done that yet. <laughs> and we barely ever do this, so I'm very proud of her. Yay! Time to eat! So as soon as they're done eating, if Miley will eat, we just have to do the cats, and then we are pretty much done with animals for the night. All right, last animal setup for tonight. Yay! Cage is going up. Penelope is figuring out there's a new slider. Cage is up. Hey guys, well, the time is now 11.30. It is almost like the next day. This has been so exhausting. We literally couldn't have done this without our friends because they have been such a help. This was like the craziest day ever, but everyone right now is fed and sleeping in their new pens. I am so happy and so excited. This is just like crazy that we got this done today. So overwhelming. It's been a crazy day. I'm so happy. We are so grateful, so blessed about this. And I'm so excited to keep showing you what's happening. And um, if you guys didn't notice, maybe you did, there's some animal that's missing. And I will talk to you about that in the next video. If you all right, you guys, so it's the next morning. Um, we have all slept here. One morning, it's early, it's like seven o'clock, um, but the cats were meowing so much throughout the night and the roosters were crowing. It was such a terrible night's sleep. I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. and I it's seven, so oh my gosh, but those roosters were so annoying and um, the cats were meowing and I was like, why are they meowing? So I looked into their cages, I like looked at the slider and I saw that Crazy wasn't in his cage with um, Domino and it makes sense because it was crazy meowing and Domino meowing and obviously Domino wanted um, Crazy and Crazy was just really confused So what we've done is the cats are just hanging out on the patio So there's Peach and then there's actually like a dog dog We just put like a planter there so they don't get out right now and then actually wait That's crazy Mishka and Dami so um, they're just kind of hanging out. Um, this is not permanent, obviously. We're just trying to do this transition period with them, but they do not want to be in cages because they've been out for so long now. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see, I'm in the backyard. If we can get Moose to come over here. Moose, oh, you scared me, you rubbed up on my legs. Moose, come on. So we ended up actually taking Jolene out of the stall last night because she was having a conniption and was moving to high heavens and I didn't want to wake the neighbors, didn't want to make that impression on the first night. Let's see if we can get Moose up. Moose! Well, cows don't want to come back yet, but the littles are doing good. We had their hot plate on, everybody's doing great. So I'm happy about them. Now let's go check on the rest. All right, I really want to walk out the front door, but if you see that black spot right there, I really think that's a chicken and I, <laughs> it is a chicken that's moving. Oh my gosh, I do not want to walk out and chicken's coming. Maybe we can scare them off. Okay, I think open, unlocking it scared them. Hello? I don't want any, I don't want to buy anything. Oh my gosh, there's poop everywhere. We need to wash this out today when we get the coop. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. But this is what happens when um, you move and don't get a shoe good right away. So, um, ball. But everyone seems to be doing good and much happier that they're happier. They've got food and water. Everybody's doing good. So, the three cows are up there. Here they might come. Come here, Moose! Oh my gosh. Mommy! Here they come. <laughs> they definitely seemed a little bit nervous last night, I think because without the horses, um, they, I don't know, they just maybe feel a little insecure because they were kind of staying around us a lot. I mean, maybe it's just a new place, but 
I felt like they were very clingy with us. And Joe was super nervous. That's why she wanted to be out with the cows. So this is her first night ever <laughs> out with the cows. Well, you know, in general too. And at the new place. Hi, Moosers. They haven't figured yet that they can take down this vinyl fencing if they wanted to. <laughs> and he has burrs all in him. What's up, little girl? Moosey, you look like a wild cow. <laughs> cow needs groomed so badly. So, if you see, that's Trigger, that's Louie, and that's Blaze. Come on! Come on, you guys! Getting some cooperation from Lou. Come on! You guys are like, I'm ready to eat. I'm always ready to eat. So what I love about this property is the trees, you guys. There's, at our last place, we didn't have many trees. There wasn't a lot of shade, so we did have the lean-to barn. But like, look at this tree right here. It's perfect for shade for them. And then obviously all these other trees. The horses have so many trees. Oh, I just love them. And look how pretty they are. Maybe we do babies. I'm so happy that the cows get their own pasture, though. It's so fun because they get to actually act like a little herd. <laughs> They're so cute, they're stuck to each other today. I try to get a little closer to the horses. I don't have shoes on right now and walking in the rocks hurts. <laughs> Hi Lulu! So much grass! So much grass, Bubba's! I am so happy. There's like such good grass here. It's long and it's great. Trigger is literally making me walk to the very end of the property. Hi, Blaze. Come here. Come here. Guys, it's so cool when you drive down the driveway, the horses greet you on the sides. Triggs. They have like no interest in us now that they've been dropped out of here on the pasture. But that's okay. I want them to enjoy. I loved when yesterday we were running. That was like the best thing ever. They just seemed so happy and right at home. And Moose is about to figure out that he can take down the vinyl fencing because he's whacking into it. Yay. All right, you guys. Well, this is it. We have a really long day ahead of us. Um, we have a lot of remodeling to do that we've been working on. So... I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, but that is moving all of my pets. It's crazy. I couldn't have done it, like I said, without my friends because this was a very long day. It took us many, many hours, and it was such a struggle getting Al in, and I know I didn't show you guys that because I couldn't because there was so much that we were trying to do. It was just a lot, but we're done, so everybody's here. Everybody's happy, so if you guys like this video, if you guys like seeing us move all of our pets go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below make sure you turn on that post notification so that you can be entered in to be my next post notification shout out today's shout out goes to are you guys i love you and i'll see you in the next one